Please network with this wonderful soul. Um, she's certainly a moving and shaker and one of our Africa's great uh, leaders. Um, and um, let's, let's make it happen. Um, we're going to bring on um, uh, another great um, um, business person here that's going to share a few things with you about building and owning land. So without further ado, we'll bring forth Brother Quality Napatelli. He's a business owner. He builds houses, and he's going to give you a little little tidbit on how to own land and overcome some of the pitfalls. Um, Brother Quality. Thank you so much. Uh, say welcome to Ghana, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to Ghana, my brothers and sisters. But what I'm not seeing here is. We don't have the children, we don't have, we don't have the youth. Uh, we need to bring the youth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is how we Yes, from the diaspora, we need to bring most of the yeah. youth bring to, your children next time. to Africa for them also to experience the culture here. So they are the future. So when we are coming next time, I think we need to bring them you know, to Ghana and to Africa to come and experience the great culture. Yes. I have said, my name is uh, Claude Naftali. Uh, I have a small construction company. Uh, called Shipong Pele Enterprise. The name is a grand name. When you say Shipong Pele, like the earth carries. So, for instance, where we are now, the earth is carrying this building. So, we are into uh, real estates construction, infrastructure construction all over Ghana here. And we are doing very well. So, I also want to talk about uh, land ownership, specifically in Ghana here. In Ghana here, uh, land is in two fold. I will buy into two fold. The individual landowners and then the school land or the family land. So, with the individual landowners, for instance, I can be an individual, I can have some acres of land, then the school land or the family land are the chiefs, land, etc. Uh, with the acquisition of land in Ghana here, it's, it's easy at the same time to, it's, it's, you have to be very strong because one, with the individual lands, you have to get the right person. To lead you, for you to apply that land, and the and the uh, the family land or the school land also, the way to apply that one also is to go to, to uh, go to the chiefs. When you go to the chief, they can also uh, give you the access to apply land in Ghana here. We have, we have a lot of land in Ghana from Accra to the northern sector. Anywhere that you want to buy land in Ghana here, with the right assistant, the right person. You can get a land to buy in Ghana here. And when you compare it to the dollar, the land at least it's, 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 it's not much. So uh, we all invite you to acquire a property in Ghana here, especially land. Land is the key. Land is very, very important. With land, you have a good state. With land, you have everything. So with land, you start with your building. There is your building. You stay, then you can start with your businesses. In Ghana here, so uh, I want to be brief. I say you are all welcome to Ghana, and we we, we look for it to to see once again to to invest in Ghana, whether in agro business, whether in uh, tourism, whether in uh, infrastructure, whether in real estate. We invite you to visit Ghana and also invest in Ghana. Thank you. Yes, our brother mentioned um, land ownership, so our lawyer will give you more details about the um, legal um, uh, ways of getting the land. Um, and land ownership is one of the key to um, living free in Africa. Uh, I wrote this book called How to Build Bridging Successful in Africa Without Depending on Money. As our sister said, you know, we live in Africa without monies being the um, God. You see, our self-work, our self-work is more valuable than the network. You see, we don't put money above our soul. So we are rich because of who we are. You see, we make money, money don't make us. We're not naive, but only land has been my um, um, road to freedom. So I haven't paid rent or mortgage in 30 years. So with all the extra cash that I get from savings, I could have done this. I had a home in New Jersey that I had bought. They gave me a mortgage for 30 years. And I paid for three years, sold it, and I just came on to Africa. Bought and built, and I've been free ever since. So I don't depend on money. You see, I have it, 
but I don't depend on it. They make you dependent on it in the West. See, they say in America, you lose your job, you lose your life. Okay, I mean, it's just that serious. So they put money, they made your network more valuable than your self-worth, okay? And then once uh, the soul singer said, uh, the, movie, the music producer told her, she said, he said, you are more valuable to me dead than alive. And he put insurance on it. So that's what they're killing people in Hollywood. You know, so you gotta know how he deals with capitalism. Capitalism is one of the worst systems in the world. So we're not talking capitalism for Africa. We're talking realism, that's okay? Right. Owning, uh, not needing uh, to pay for water. I don't buy water, okay? I don't, I use solar. I'm off the grid for the most part. So I don't need, uh, I don't deal with doom so. That means lights out, right? I don't deal with that. We have solar, so we don't pay for energy. We harvest rainwater. We purify our own water, so we don't pay for water. Uh, we don't pay rent or mortgage, okay? Those things will be obsolete, and we have to make them obsolete. You see, again, uh, you got to have the knowledge on how to do that. We have the knowledge on how to break the stranglehold of the dollar. Okay, of the pound and the euro, because the people that run the world, they print money. Okay, so we got to start printing our wealth, and our wealth is not based on what network money, but self worth, wisdom is better than gold. So our brother's going to come and give you some insight into how to stay healthy. One of the young sons said, "Bring our children next." I have two beautiful daughters, and I have um, a lot of cousins in America. So my children refused to come, so I came and got married and brought more children for a year. So my youngest son is here. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. So you, you come here, you make children, okay? And your children don't come, you make children. So my children in America, if you want to come, fine. You stay over there, you I'll make them more babies over here. So, uh, I'm sorry to give you some information on how to stay healthy.